Hello, this is HD Wingnut, and uh, it's late at night. My kids are sleeping. One of them's on the couch behind me, so I talk kind of quiet here. But I thought I'd show you a few things on the Clevo P750ZM. Um, one is the uh, LCD uh, brightness and viewing angles. Uh, the other thing is the fan profile and the no uh, sound it makes. Um, and a little bit on the performance of the CPU. I um, also have a cold, so excuse me if I sound a little nasally right now. In any case, this is the LCD, it's LG. Um, I'll go ahead and bring up uh, HW Info here. And you can see it is an LG Philips LP156WF4SLB5. Um, it actually has, it's an IPS, it actually has very good uh, viewing angles. Um, and very good brightness and contrast. I mean, it's probably not the best for you know if you're a uh, video file and want to do uh, videos. I believe it's only a 72% gamut. But in any case, um, visually you can see here this is a straight-on uh, maximum brightness. I slowly rotate up. And back down again over to the side and back again okay now what I'm going to show you is I'm going to bring up uh, Intel Extreme Tuning Utility um, if you're not familiar with it it's a free uh, utility from Intel it has a uh, lot depending on your CPU and your motherboard configuration um, is it limits the number of items that you can adjust but with this system the i7-4790K desktop CPU um, there's a multitude of items that can be adjusted in this case um, since I want to run it as close as possible um, this CPU seems to like a minus 80 millivolts um, a whole lot more than that it tends to crash with uh, intense applications and processor cache voltage. I set that to minus 100 millivolts. Not sure if it makes a whole lot of difference, but it seems to run stable with that. Um, you can see the uh, multipliers are set at stock. Four cores, 42x. One core, two cores, 44x. I'm going to, uh, you can see right now there's basically no fan running for this laptop at idle so it's it's dead silent what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up uh, Prime 95 it's a very intense program and uh, I have before we do that I'm going to do a function escape Oops. that will bring up the Clevo control center you can see I'm on performance profile it's got uh, automatic fans, which I'm going to show you. You can do custom. You can have it where it starts. Start temp, stop temp, full fan speed. Maximum is 80%, but uh, we'll hear that in a minute. But in any case, we'll stick with automatic. This is what default system is. And uh, close this. We'll go ahead and start the uh, Prime95 uh, CPU test, or, or I guess torture test. See over here, we've got the 100% uh, CPU utilization. Uh, temperatures are skyrocketing quickly because it uses, it just hammers the CPU, but it is maintaining uh, 4.3 gigahertz. Oh, sorry, down here, 4.2 gigahertz, which is. Right here, and throughout uh, for I've run this for like 20 minutes, and even at these temperatures, the processor frequency never throttles below 4.2 gigahertz. So it's pretty stable. You can hear the fan slowly ramping up.
And after about a minute, you can see temperatures are up to about 97 C. I'm going to go ahead and stop this test. Let the fan ramp down. Then I'll hit uh, full fans, which on the Sagers um, has this option. You hit function number key one, and it'll go full fan profile, full speed. I don't know that all Clevo laptops have it, but the Sager version does. I'm going to go ahead and hit the full fan profile. You can see it ramps up a lot more slowly to temp at the temperatures that it's maintaining. So far under 90 C, it will go up to probably mid 90s, it'll just take longer to get there. Right now I'm doing a turn off full fans. Go dead silent. Let the automatic fan profile kick in. So temperature skyrocketing there. But it doesn't uh ooh, whoops. Well that's not good, but in any case. There's a difference in the uh, fan profiles. It's probably my overvolt or my undervolt that uh, caused that crash. I need to uh, tune that a little bit more. In any case, I um, hope that helped. Thanks.